Finally, what was expected happened and Russia's attack on Ukraine began. When we follow the news, Russia seems to have declared war on Ukraine both to ensure its own security and to revive the Soviet Union. This is the view presented to us at first glance. In fact, it would be more accurate to say that this is the view that the media is asked to present. Because one of the duties of the media is to consciously direct the masses to a different direction in order to hide the main plan. Let's get out of this scene today and look at the Russia-Ukraine war from a very different window. States make more than one plan and produce strategies to reach their main goals. Each strategy divides into more than one branch within itself. Therefore, I would like to share with you a plan that I saw signs of while Russia was looking at the Ukraine war. I can't say that this is the definitive plan of America and Russia, but when you put the explanations one under the other rather than the obvious, I sense an atmosphere as if trying to create a ground for the America-Russia-Turkey agreement. To create this cooperation, America has given Ukraine to Russia as a diet, and it seems to give Greece to persuade Turkey. How is it? I can hear you asking. As I said, my friends, I wanted to approach this event from a different perspective. Let's take a closer look at this issue. Everything actually started when the British and Jews moved their capital to China and confronted America as a superpower. In the current process, Either America will prevent China and maintain its position in the world, or China will defeat America and declare it to be the world's new superpower. The danger for America is not only that, but if China is defeated, this will start the process of complete disintegration and civil war of the USA. America's encirclement of China, to put it more accurately, in the Silk Road project, especially needs two states to end China's dominance. One is Russia and the other is Turkey. So why these two countries? Russia is one of the important transit routes of the Silk Road, let's pass it. The more important one is China's largest natural gas and oil source. China gets most of its energy from Russia. Turkey is the connection point of the Silk Road project with Europe. So this is the jugular vein of the project. Trade between Europe and China by road must pass through Turkey. We also hold the Black Sea, we have the largest area in the eastern Mediterranean. Therefore, China needs Russia and Turkey as much as America needs it. What Cyprus is to Turkey, Ukraine is to Russia. America has been implementing a very important policy for a long time because it knows this and wants to draw Russia to its side. By pretending to take Ukraine to NATO, he deliberately stepped on Russia's veins. Since the leader of Ukraine, Zelensky, was a novice and did not know that the West could not be trusted, he began to stand up to Russia with the gas of America and Europe. The plan has progressed exactly as America wanted. Putin is a former intelligence officer. The chamber is necessarily aware of the Americans' plan and condoned it because it suits them well, and cooperated with the United States. In both states, Ukraine will kill more than one bird with a stone. How does, in the process reached today, the picture is now clearly visible. America threw Ukraine in front of Putin by inciting Zelensky. Let's look at America's earnings first. America will sell its own shale gas to Europe, which is now the biggest market. It will ensure that Europe depends on itself, not Russia, for natural gas. By using its fear of Russia, it will force Europe to itself more and will not allow this market to go to China. It would have completely thrown away the idea of France and Germany to establish a European army. Why do you think Putin humiliated Macron by welcoming him like this and showed him helpless? It is clear as day that everything is done in collusion with America. Let's take a look at Russia's gains. No matter how strong Russia is, it knows very well that China will be in big trouble in the future. For this reason, the weakening of China and then its disintegration is a priority issue for the Russians. After the Ukraine war, the Russians will sell the gas that they cannot sell to Europe, with the agreement they made with China. Remember, before the Winter Olympics, Putin went to China and signed the natural gas agreement. Moreover, the attack on Ukraine had not even begun. In other words, Russia will take from China the money it will lose from Europe. In order for China to survive, it must constantly produce and sell what it produces. There are two big markets for this, America and Europe. 
because of the fear of Russia, this market will be difficult for China, as Europe will approach the USA. Ukraine was chosen as the bait to implement this. Now let's look at Turkey's earnings. Every country looks after its interests. Win-win is important in diplomacy. In other words, you want concessions according to the concession you will make. So why do I say that Greece will be given to Turkey as a gift? Let me explain right away. Russia seems to be okay for America. Now it's his turn to convince us. Greece will be used in this. First, let's talk about America's policy against us. Friends, the positive statements of American soldiers and strategists about Turkey have started to be reflected in the press for the last one year, unexpectedly. American experts, who knew diplomacy, began to insist that the United States should improve its relations with Turkey and that concessions should be made to Ankara that would satisfy it. These news were actually written to prepare the public opinion. What is clear is that Turkey and America had already started negotiations behind closed doors. First, the articles against Turkey in the American media were suddenly cut off. If you don't count the ones that come out sporadically, this kind of news is over in an instant. Then we suddenly saw that the United States suddenly announced that it was withdrawing from the East Med pipeline project, which was signed between Greece, the Greek part, Israel, Egypt and the United States, and which excludes Turkey. Then we witnessed that the United Arab Emirates came to Turkey and Egypt softened its relations with us. Now, the Israeli president's visit to Turkey will take place soon. It's clear that bargaining works to a certain extent. Afterwards, we saw that the US made small statements that started to support Turkey on the Eastern Mediterranean issue. The biggest concession to be made for Turkey to work with the United States on the Silk Road project, on the other hand, seems to be hiding for the last stage. Do you remember, one week before the Russia-Ukraine war started, our foreign minister suddenly brought up the Sea of Islands and made statements that this situation would not go like this. A few days after this statement, Erdogan said that the status of the islands in the Sea of Islands should be discussed, as no one expected. In other words, the meaning of these sentences is that Turkey is preparing for war. America will use Greece in two ways here. In both scenarios, there will be a war between us and Greece and Greece will definitely be divided. You know that this country has been openly armed against us for a long time. You ask why? Because America is using Greece as blackmail in order to negotiate with Turkey. In this scenario, Greece would be the first to open fire. According to the first scenario, if the United States and Turkey agree against China, Greece will be provoked by the United States to open fire, and Turkey will in turn take all the archipelago, especially the 12 islands, and western Thrace. Even though America seems to support Greece during the war, it will not show its soldiers in Greece to us and will give diplomatic support to Greece during the war, just as it did to Ukraine. Russia will behave like America here. In the second scenario, if Turkey and America cannot come to an agreement, this time Turkey will be pressed on its heart and we will be asked to wage the war. In this scenario, Greece will be used to punish us. This time, America provides military support to Greece from behind the scenes. It attacks from Syria via YPG. At the end of the war, Turkey again takes the western Thrace and the Sea of Islands, and captures more land in Syria, but the war will cost us more. This scenario is the most dangerous for America because it includes the risk of losing Turkey completely. Diplomacy is the art of trapping each other. If America, Turkey, Russia can establish the American alliance against China, many problems will disappear. But here it is always valid in the third scenario. He can also provoke us through America and Russia through Greece and cause troubles that we have never been through, or he can completely drive America out of here after Turkey and Russia get what they want. So friends, Diplomacy is such a thorny road that you have to think a thousand times and take a step. What I have told you so far is just one of the scenarios. I am not saying that the future developments will be like this. However, while explaining this scenario to you, I have presented all the proofs so that it is based on solid foundations. I know, friends, you feel sorry for Ukraine like me. But unfortunately, the law of the strong always prevails. Unfortunately, 
Ukraine was used as bait in this scenario by America and Russia. I cannot say the same for Greece from my own perspective, because this country hurt us so much and killed thousands of our people in the past. Even today, he gives all kinds of support to the PKK. There is no chance of resolving the problems between us and this country through diplomacy. But war will end all problems. What do you think about this issue?